Yeah, the annular solar <laughs> eclipse Saturday morning will be way more impressive, Rachel, up in Elko than down here in southern Nevada. I'm trying to set expectations, <laughs> but it's still neat to talk about. We don't want you to hurt your eyes, though. We want you to be safe. Yeah, and I actually just made this in 10 minutes. Shout out to Alex, Noemi and Larry who had all the materials. I'll tell you about that in just a little bit, but no matter where you are, whether you're in the path or whether you're just going to see the partial eclipse, you never want to look directly at a solar eclipse. If you have solar approved glasses, you can wear those. You can also view the annular eclipse indirectly through a pinhole camera. And you can make a do it yourself pinhole camera. You just need these things, a cereal box or a shoe box, a white piece of paper and aluminum foil. Now, the reason why you don't want to look directly at a solar eclipse is because it can damage or even destroy cells in your retina. This happened to a woman in 2017 during the total solar eclipse. She was diagnosed with solar retino retinopathy. Now, retinal damage from exposure to uh, solar radiation. Now, there's no treatment for this condition, and over time, it can improve or it can get worse, but it is permanent. So here in Southern Nevada, the partial eclipse will be visible for a couple of hours. It begins just after 8 a.m., and our region will see its maximum of 80 to 85 percent pass over at 926. It ends before 11 a.m., so you'll have a couple of hours to view it. We, of course, have a link from NASA so that you can track the eclipse on our website at ktmv.com, and I will, of course, remind you about it on GMLV tomorrow morning.